day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Oh, I, I just there's there's so many scriptures that that, that come to mind. I mean, it's like we're well, sin about grace more, much more, much more about. Yeah, what do it's uh, sin again? But don't don't take it. Jesus he said, Christ don't. died for the sins of the world. And, <laughs> look, look, and, you can't, and, and, you can't and, ignore and, this part here. He said, I'm not this, ignoring this. this I'm really like, not. I know. What I'm saying is, let's read the four fourteen. If you forgive men their trespasses your heavenly father he ain't talking about jesus now he's talking about god the father and don't forget he's coming back we're gonna send his son to come back with wrath for those who are not going to be here see i plan i don't plan on being here but he's coming back with wrath and and, and the elders so fond of saying in the old testament uh oh vengeance is the lord and he will repay now he says right here in verse 14, for if you, this is if again, if you forgive men their trespasses, which the love of God should cause you to do, your heaven follow also forgive you. But for 15 says, I ain't gonna change that, I'm just reading verbatim. If you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses and you know guys before elder before y'all came i had this one and i'm gonna read this brother Isaac, and we all late but i'm gonna read this because i want you because you got to do some chewing and studying Let me no say I, I ain't got to chew i just can't <laughs> let's go i can't ahead. accept he, i he can't gave, accept this he gave you a this. parable he gave you a parable let's go and get the parable elder you know this parable but if you, if you want to read it from 21, this Matthew's 18, 21 to 33. You want to read it, Elder? Okay. Okay. Here it is there. I'll, I'll move it down as you, get, as you get closer to that last line. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how can show my brother sin against me and I forgive him? And... I gotta move the block. Just give me one second. I gotta change the. Okay. 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 Uh, how can. And Jesus said, I say unto thee, until seven times. Seven. Not until you seven times, but the seven times seven is the question that he asked. And then Jesus said to him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Yes, sir. Therefore, is the kingdom of heaven likened to a certain man? Uh, ha, that's the one I was looking for. Yes, sir. Would take account of his servant. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him 10,000 talents. But for as much as he did not, he had not to pay, the Lord commended him to, to be sold, his wife and his children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, mm. saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of the servant was moved with compassion and loosened him, loosened him and forgave him the debt. Mm. But when the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him a hundred pence, mm -hmm. and he laid hands on him, okay. took him by the throat, saying, pay me that which thou owed him. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and saw him saying, have patience with me and I will pay thee all. <laughs> and he would not, uh -huh. but went and cast him into prison till uh -huh. he should pay the debt. Yes, sir. But when his fellow servants saw what, he did, what was done, they were very sorry uh -huh. and came and, and, and told, told unto the, oh, 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 we move, and told unto the Lord all that was done. Uh -huh. Then this Lord, after that he had said, that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt, because thou desired me. Should not thou also have had compassion upon thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? 
Come on. And the Lord was wroth, and, and 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 His law was wroth. Very. Right. him to the tormentors that he uh -huh. should pay all that he was doing to them, that was doing to them. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your heart forgive your not heart. everyone his brother that trespasses. Come on now. Now, and they said that from your heart, then the elder. Yeah, that's okay. what you're... He ain't talking your head knowledge, he's talking about your heart. Yeah. He said, and, and, and see, that's one of the biggest challenges, elders, and I think you agree with that, that that has always been, when you get those unforgiven messages, that has always been a big, heavy message to the congregation, isn't it? Well, you can't you can't actually display the love of God, you know, forgive me, because that's what it came for. I know it. I mean Jesus, Jesus demonstrated the love of God on the cross by dying for us and, yeah. and praying for us. He said, Father, forgive them for they know what they do. Yes, sir. So it said he was the light of the world while he walked the earth. And then when he left the earth, he said we were the light of the world. Yes, sir. And his disciples, we were supposed to mimic his behavior. He had a but, but he was had a forgiving heart. Yeah. And, and so if we walk by hiding up forgiveness, then we're not representing him. And so and what he basically says is, as long as you're doing what I ask you to do, I got you. But when I you stop you. doing it, you kind of like cut the cord. You know, if <laughs> you can't forgive, you, you, I don't you're forgive you. You're disconnected. Yeah. And, and, and I'm saying is that you agree that most times you ever gave that message, it's always been a heavy thing, hasn't it? it to, to a congregation. Yeah. It is the biggest hindrance to the congregation. It's it the is. Biggest, the biggest hindrance in the congregation is unforgiveness. It is. We, we, we miss out on so many blessings because we don't forget one another. <laughs> and, and, and so, brother, as I'm saying, is that's a that's a big challenge Very for a lot really. of people in the body of Christ. Well, you know, I think that's one of the things you talk about the social issues that we're dealing with. Yes, sir. That's sort of the problem here too. A lot of blacks have unforgivingness toward our white brothers right. because of the atrocities they committed against us. Right. So it is it is caught us up. We we been Man, praise God. May the Lord give us the power to forgive. Yeah. And you know what they can't have, ask for that. And I don't think they're forgiving them. They haven't asked for forgiveness themselves, you know? That's legit. You know? That's real. That's the one thing I think we didn't bring up. But that he said if your brother asked you for forgiveness. Yeah. He said he ain't saying that you just got an opportunity to go over and forgive somebody because if they don't ask for forgiveness, you're not obligated to forgive them. But if they yeah. ask you to forgive, that's when you're talking about seven times seven. Seven. Right. If, I, if he asked you to forgive him, how many times should I forgive him? It's seven times seven. And how many, that's they don't the ask you there. You know, they, they abide in the transportation itself. And he said, that's a day, right? Because I know one of the scriptures is hey, yeah. He just said that. 409 right? times a day. He said nine or seven times a day. And Jesus 490 said, times a day. 490 said, times. Exactly. In one day. For, in so, one day. And that lines up with, give us this day. You see what I'm saying, Elder? Uh, that it lines up with that. He has an intent, and he did it on the cross. He did it himself. He, he was on the cross, Brother Addison. He's getting ready to die. Yep. I understand. I, I'm not saying that you don't forget, but I do know that I'm forgiven. I do know the Word of God says that He will never leave me nor forsake me. Right. I do know that. I'm a child of God. I yeah, know all yeah. this. So you and I do know that there are times when people do stuff yes, that sir. forgiveness is not an instant thing. Yeah, but it, it's, I bet, you know what I think, uh, Brother Addison? I think in your heart you do give people. No, no. I can tell you there's been times people have done stuff to me and it's not immediately it's not yeah. in my heart it's, it's not because in my heart you know i could just blow the head off but you know what okay you know what? but you never, but you never did you never did you no never i did. never did and and i and i move on and and i just forgive them I know. and i and i move on but all i'm saying is you know either grace is grace or it's not what what the feeling like and and, and and god's gonna love me and not forsake me or leave me, or, or he so, is. Well, what he said, you know? what, what he said was that he would turn him over to the tormentor, and that that's the kind that kind of kept me. You know, it said that in that scripture said that turn him over unto 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 the tormentor until he paid all of the old. 
So if I think about what I, how I have sinned against God, and if God said, you're going to pay for that, man, how long would I be tormented? Yeah. And so what he's basically telling us is that as long as we're going to, you know, hold the whole thing against, hold somebody else's feet to the fire, our feet going to be held to the fire as well. I agree. So the way for us to get out of that dilemma is for us to extend forgiveness to somebody else. Because, I mean, a, at some point, you start okay. looking for folks. But, but this... This particular parable, this man is is there is more than unforgiveness. What 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 I mean? He said, let's go back to that. But I did want to make sure to remind everybody. Remember, we read this the Beatitudes. Yeah. And and he's talking about blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed yeah. are they that mourn, blessed are the meek. Blessed are they would do harm and threat for righteousness. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall attain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart. You can't have unforgiveness if you don't have a pure heart. For God I, I got a question. Huh? What would cause the person not to forgive? What? That's the whole point. He said it's like it's. That's why he was using this parable. Let's go back to it. This is in Matthew what uh, eighteen. Elder, it was funny about that one elder because 18 what 18 21 yeah the the elder the 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 uh, parable the king is representing god right and i was sitting there saying where that pity at he said he said in 33 first all 32 then the lord then his lord which is representing god after he had called him, said it to him, oh, let me recall him now. Remember we were talking about last week, a couple of weeks, Elder was talking about not being an evildoer, right? He called his man, oh, thou wicked servant. I forgave thee all that debt. Because we're talking about a lifetime, lifetime of sin and transgressions of a person. Prior to being saved, and I'm saying is, they're not saying otherwise, any transgressions that they did while they were saved. You do commit atrocities. You do do something wrong. Well, well at least I do. <laughs> and, and he said, I gave you a lifetime of debt. Because how much did he owe him, Elder? How much was it? It was like... It was a lot. It was it was a, it was like it was millions of dollars basically. Comparison to what he owed the other guy owed him. Yeah, it was dumb. yeah. what is it? Ten thousand with a ten thousand talent. I remember one time I broke down the, the cost of ten thousand talents, but we're talking millions of dollars here. Yeah. We we talking about the, the, the man don't have that money. He made his money could have been in his house, his property, he could have liquidated. That's why he was selling everything, Elder. Just yeah. to try to get some of the money back. He talking about ten thousand or millions of dollars this man owed the king then he said there this joker elder he went out there and he found man who owed him. look elder, look we talking the difference between talent and pence are dollars and cents over thousands and thousands of dollars i, I almost said that one time one person joker said it was like a one week wages yeah and he said which owed him one Loan him a hundred pence, not hundreds of pence, a hundred pence. Hmm. You, I, I, maybe I can put down the other thing, see what it means, Elder, if I can. What verse was that? You know, it jumped when I did that. 21. I was in 21, right? Where's the pence at? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, him. Here's 10,000. Let's see what 10,000 says. It just says uh, uh, innumerable many, 10,000. It didn't give a exact cost there. Where's the Pence guy at? Where is it? I think it said this one. I think it according says a, a, a week wages. Where are you? There it is right here. Uh, a Daenerys. Yeah, I have to give you out the track. I, I broke it down one time, uh, Brother Addison, but it's basically almost like a dollar fifty cent opposed to mm -hmm. a million dollars. Mm -hmm. And 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 he said and said I had people. Let me go back to the thing. He said I forgave you all that debt, and you you couldn't forgive a man for 150 cent. 
or fifty dollars or a hundred dollars. You couldn't forget well, the man. To me, it was more than the Which forgiveness. One? It was what. He what? laid hands on that man and put him in prison. <laughs> That's because he had, he owed some money. Yeah. And so it was all about the. It was about so the he didn't say he didn't give him more time to pay. It, and that's what the king was going. The king also had the same thing toward the guy, right? He no, said, the king just forgave him his debt. Period. No, but now but look what the king said at first. The king said, "25 for as much as he had not to pay." His Lord commanded him to be sold and his wife and children and all that he had in payment be made. And he also said he was upset too. Where's the king, Elder? Yeah. The king was upset with the joker. The king was like, where the king said he was upset? When he had reckoned it was brought forth the other 10,000. I thought it was wrong somewhere. Yeah, you talking about dying, dying, dying. It's not yeah. after the, the other servants went and told him on him? Yeah. He was he was upset then. He was very upset. You see, you got but, a real man with him. <laughs> Say I forgave but, you on that day, and you. But, hey, look. But, it's it's saying, thirty-four. And thirty-four. Yeah, hey, Alvin. Hey, tell him to tell him the people to go put him in prison, put his children and, and his wife in prison, and sell everything he has. It's just a, it's it's worse than grabbing you by my collar. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean no harm, uh, brother Addison, but I think that's a, just as deadly. But you look, at the, you look at the, 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 the relationship the, or the transgressions that we committed against God. Yeah. In comparison to the few things that somebody's done against us. I, mean, I, mean, I thought about my, I, I went back to God and asked him to forgive me the other day. <laughs> so I had God. really went before him honestly and said, Could you, I, I feel bad about sin against people, but the, all sin is against God. Yeah. And I had never gone before God and really asked him, like, man, please forgive me for the stuff I did against you. you know yeah. What I'm yeah. It was a lot. And, and